Hi, I'm Carla Escobar. I am the Administrative Director for Neuroscience at University Medical Center in El Paso, and I'm going to give you a tour of our mobile stroke unit. So first, we have the Onmitami Elite. This was made by Neurologica. It is the first 16-slice CT scanner on a mobile stroke unit in the world. Um, so we're excited that we have this feature. It really does help us detect stroke at, or the absence of ischemic stroke and hemorrhages immediately and get that feedback to our team so that we can make the treatment decisions for TPA or not. Um, next we have in the unit, we have our suction just in case any patient needs it. That's always a safety thing to protect the airways. We have our oxygen, um, which our big tank is located on the back wall in, in this compartment here. Um, but we're able to see our oxygen pressures and make sure that we have enough so that we can connect the patient whenever they need it. We've got our AC control, and if you're in Texas, you definitely want a good AC, so that's a must. Um, and then we just got ancillary collections, um, connections, so that way we can um, connect our chargers that we have for our iPads and our computers on, in the mobile stroke unit. Um, next, we have our Firecom system. And this is connected to, um, we've got at least six of these in, in our mobile stroke unit. So that way everybody can have a headset on when we're riding. This is the main communication that we have with the front of the cab. Obviously we've got a CT scanner in the middle of, of, the, of the wall there. So it helps us really communicate and make sure everybody's buckled. It helps us uh, get information about the call that's coming in on our computer up front about the patient, how old they are. Um, once the paramedics arrive, if they do get there before us, they can give us a little more tidbits about what the symptoms are when they started. So we're already getting that information and gathering what we need to know for the patients before we even get there. Uh, next in our mobile stroke unit, we have the Zoll. Um, and that obviously for um, emergency use, we can do 12 lead EKGs and um, upload those directly into our, our service documentation system and ER. Um, all of the compartments in the Fraser unit um, is, is openable. We've got our, our cabinets locked since we've got some supplies in here but these both slide each way. And then the full cabinet does lift up so you're able to do restocking very easily and grab your supplies out when you need to. The next thing on our unit we have is a tele-neurology system. Um, this allows the physician to come on from wherever he's at, whether he's in the hospital, whether he's in his office at work, they can log in and zoom in to our patient and evaluate them for their movement, pupils, whatever needs to be done. It has audio-visual capability, so they're able to hear us and see us. They're also able to post the images from the stroke, um, the NIH stroke scale of the glove and the words, so that way we can get that from the patient as well. Next in our unit, we have a knock box, and this knock box is for our controlled medications. Uh, and it's hardwired in. Um, we also have this little camera that we have in, in the back and this is the, the best for inside the cab of the unit because it allows them to be able to see what's happening here. So if there's any emergencies, if they're not belted yet when they're ready to take off, the, the driver can see back here and see what's going on so that way he knows that he can't leave yet until everybody's got their headsets on. Lastly, we have our stretcher. Um, this helps. This stretcher raises up and helps position the patient in the CT scanner. And we also use this board to help slide the patient up into position with holding the neck. Well, that concludes our tour of the Fraser unit. I hope that you found the information useful. Thank you for joining us.